All right, guys, it's been a while since I've made some RC car temp, but that's about to change. I know I've said that before, but I promise this time, it's definitely about to change. I picked up a new car, obviously, so we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you what we picked up and just run through some of the details of uh, getting a neglected, um, abandoned, two-stroke RC back running. <laughs> but all right, here she is, the iconic, you know, HPI 5B. Um, I don't know. I always wanted one of these things back in the day, um, but I was racing eight scale and couldn't justify spending $1,300 on this thing. Um, I didn't pay that much for it, thankfully. <laughs> like I said, it's in pretty good shape. I don't think it's been ran very much. Um, the guy that was selling it was selling it for his son, it is the store that I was given. Uh, claims that it runs perfectly fine it just uh, he's not into messing with it anymore like I said um, got a little screen for the filter which is not here um, I don't want to spend a lot of money until I know this thing is good I did go ahead and order some filters just because they were extremely cheap a small investigation I haven't really looked at this thing much so you guys are seeing you know right out of the box just as I did I had the original box too which I thought was pretty cool um, but as you can imagine, that is what the batteries look like. That is pretty bad. Um, I'm sure I could clean these up and get this working, um, which I might try that. Just, you know, throw some fresh batteries in here. Um, look how this thing. It's, it's like, it was pretty hard to get this, this cover off. But considering it has one of these on the antenna, I don't even know what this is. Don't know how, how it works, you know? So I'm just not going to run this. <laughs> And instead, I have this guy right here, which has one of these. <laughs> and I actually have another receiver. So I'm just going to throw this on here, probably. Um, like, so we might try to get that to work, but just for see if we can actually get some life back out of it, even with that corrosion. But first, we're going to see if this thing even runs. I'm going to clean around the filter area, just take the little casing off and get all that dirt and stuff off there just so there's no chance of it sucking back into the engine. I've already went to the store and picked up some two cycle. No, this is not washer fluid. Um, this is AMS oil with non-ethanol fuel. Uh, just figured I would try this um, first and then I'll probably start running like the VP pre-mix stuff in it. But um, I didn't have a small jug and I didn't want to get like one gallon and a five gallon jug. So I just did this. <laughs> But like I said, on the, I did a little bit of research. A lot of guys were, you know, back when I was riding dirt bikes, uh, I always pre-mixed AMS oil, um, 50 to one. And they were everyone was saying that's a really bad idea that it's uh, what is it? Was it 25 to one? Yeah, 25 to one. So that's what that is. Just non-ethanol fuel, 25 to one. So gonna clean that filter up. Cause you can see, I'll show you real quick. You can just see like all the crust and stuff in there. So we're just going to clean all that up just so it doesn't take a chance on sucking dirt into it, which that looks like that's the filter, which it probably is. Yeah, that's definitely, um, yeah, you can see the, what's left of the filter down there. The filter rotted off of this thing. <laughs> so I'm going to clean this up just so it doesn't and check the lines, put some fuel in this thing and we'll see if it fires up. But to show you guys that this is the box, it's got some spare parts. Uh, looked like he had an issue with a wheel at one time. Some oil and stuff. Um, it's pretty gross. Some more spare parts. Oh yeah, and look, that was a filter. So yeah, this thing has been sitting for a very, very long time. Tools. But yeah, judging by those filters, um, this could be a headache. I'm really hoping that I'm just going to put some fuel in this thing and it's going to fire up without issues. But uh, my mind is telling me that we're going to have to pull this carburetor off and clean that bad boy up. So either way, that's no big deal. The engine does, the engine does have compression and it's not seized, which is the only thing I cared about when I went and looked at the car itself. Let's see if I can, this thing is actually taking over the workbench area. 
as you guys can see it's pretty clean under there it's definitely had some use you can see like the the marks on there so she's had some some time ran through it but it's not nothing too crazy i don't think um, shocks are definitely leaking so might have to go through the shocks and redo them that thing's pretty feels pretty bouncy I wasn't expecting this thing to be the size that it was when I seen it. I've never seen one of these in person until this one. Um, Alex said I have like the X Max and the, was it the XRT or something like that. And this thing right here, it's pretty. It's actually a little bit bigger than those two, so I really wasn't expecting the the size of this thing. But it's pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to do too much with it. Maybe that little pipe. Um, uh, that's probably going to be it, just because this looks hideous, the factory pipe, just this big block with the little pipe that curls up in there and goes back here. Um, I was really trying to find like the nice HPI one, if you have that and want to send it to me, that'd be super dope. <laughs> of course, I'm willing to buy it, because um, there's like some little cheap ones. This is probably the same thing, but I would just like to have the HPI one. Uh, maybe we might get a bigger engine, I don't know. Uh, I said, I just wanted this to have something to kind of, to bash that I could just basically, you know, bash around with in the backyard and the field and everything, which we're going to build the track back there. I promise. Um, I'm just waiting on the money guys. Um, I think I need about 2000 bucks and we can get that going. But anyway, enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and pull this filter case off, put some fuel in this thing and see if it fires up. Cause that's going to be the, you know, I guess the start of everything. If it doesn't run, we got other stuff to look into. So. Go ahead and do that. The fuel tank and everything was empty, so I may we'll get lucky. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, so we stepped around back to my porch, and like I said, I used my RC squirt bottle to put fuel in this thing. I went ahead and filled it up. We're gonna prime it and go ahead and see what happens. So wish me luck, guys. <laughs> All right, so I didn't clean that stuff like I said I was going to, because um, I'm just wanting to see if it runs. All right, see, there's already an issue. The little priming bubble just fell apart. So, that's not good. Mm. This thing has been sitting for a very long time. So that's going to be an issue. We'll have to, um, we'll have to come back to this, guys. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not going to run with that leaking like that. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Well, that's a bummer. So I'll jump online, order that, go ahead and pull this carburetor, clean it, and then we'll see if this thing runs. And the gas tank's leaking a little bit right there. Went ahead and filled it up so I could see if we were going to have some issues. So yeah. it's probably better that this way anyway. Cause I can pull the carburetor off and clean it and uh, just make sure this thing's gonna be right. Stop guys, you didn't think I was gonna give up, did you? In right there, no way. So I just poured some car some gas down the carburetor and we're gonna give the car a cool, quick pull and see what happens. <laughs> All right, so if I can do this one handed. So I've got a foot on the front. Let's maybe give it some choke. Oh, we probably don't need a choke. There's probably plenty of fuel in there. So. Make sure the throttle's closed. Yeah, that's full brake right there. Nothing yet. Third time's the charm. Here we go. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe we will throw a wee bit of choke on here. Nothing yet. Maybe too much fuel? Or not enough fuel. Let's crack the throttle just a little bit. Don't want this thing to run away from me. I'm gonna say not enough fuel. Let me give another little splash. Oh, I'm seeing smoke. So that's a good sign. So we probably got enough fuel. So let's stay over here.
Come on, give me a couple pops. That's all I want. Just a couple of pops. Hmm. Take two. <laughs> okay, so it's not running. <laughs> um, which is probably wishful thinking considering the condition it's in. Um, I'm seeing it's like fuel leaking around the spark plug. Spark plug is loose, so that could have something to do with it. <laughs> uh, I, can ba I basically just turned it with my hand. You guys can see that. Well, of course, you're not going to sit my finger in the way. So, I'm going to pull this little cover off and we'll check this plug out. So, now you guys can get a better look at that. The plug is spinning in there, so it's the easiest plug change ever. No tools needed. You can tell by like the crust and stuff. He's probably running it a while like that with it loose. So, okay. It's a, it's a little, little crusty. A little wet that's probably my fault way too much fuel in there um, so I'm gonna clean this guy up and actually put it in there tight and we'll try to crank it again all right so I give the plug a quick wipe just wiped it down with a, a towel and then just took a little bit of like a thousand grit sandpaper and kind of clean the point of contact for the arc on the spark plug and tested the spark against the top opening of the uh, cylinder, you know, not on the plastic, and just kind of give it a little rip. So we do have spark, so that's a good thing. Um, so I think it's just gonna be some carburetor issues, but got the throttle closed, I'm indoors, so let's see if this will work real quick. Nothing. I heard a pop, that's good. That's a good sign. <laughs> I'm hearing some, some attempts. Okay. Uh-oh. I think she's going to run. I think she's going to do it. Come on. Just give me like two seconds of idle. That was like a second. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it! Come on, come on. That was close. I don't even know which way the choke is on this thing. I can already smell two cycle, that's awesome. Where did that dirt come from? Did you guys see that? Holy cow! This, the smart thing would be to stop and take this thing apart, but the fun thing to do would be to keep trying until it runs. And that's what we're going to do. Come on. Give me more than just a pop. <laughs> I'm going to call that a win. That's, this thing's going to run. That's pretty... pretty Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Just a, a just a quick little, you know, spurt of life. I stopped the engine, so that reassures me. Mm, it smells so good in here now. Oh man, that should be like a um, a candle. Two cycle. <laughs> I would buy that candle. But that's enough for me to be confident in spending a little bit of money on it. Um, more than I already have just by take the carburetor off go ahead and go through it and rebuild it replace the lines um, like I said you probably get, might be able to get away with just replacing that prime ring bubble and fuel lines and stuff like that um, but we all know if you want it to be good and actually enjoyable going through the carburetor um, definitely ain't gonna hurt so that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> Fresh plug, wait for my filters to come in. I'll rebuild the carburetor. I might make a video if you guys are interested. And like I said, getting the electronics fired up 
I don't even know what's inside that battery box. So, um, but I just wanted to see that, make sure it actually would attempt to run. So, before I spend money buying batteries and all this kind of stuff. But anyway, that's it for this one. Um, like I said, I will be making more RC car videos. I'm gonna get the uh, eight scale track in the backyard. Um, the plans have changed a little bit. I don't think it's gonna be, it'll probably like kind of a traditional track with you know good turns and jumps and stuff but i want it to be more of like a bashing park like think of like a dirt skate park is what i want that's what like big jumps and stuff like that so with stuff like this i can go out there and have fun and if i ever quit can come up with the money and get a little mini bike i can go back there and do like little jumps and stuff with the mini bike but like i said um selling off some of the car projects and that's going to fund building the rc car track so it's got to rent some equipment get some dirt and we'll be good to go so that's it for this one guys um like i said if you're interested in the electronic side of this just let me know in the comments and i will make sure to record that stuff and i'm actually going to go grab the stuff to rebuild the carburetor if i can find it locally if not i'll order it so uh, depending on whether i can get that stuff quick or not will be how fast we actually get this thing fired up and running for real and go take it and rip it around somewhere yeah <laughs> all right guys like always i appreciate all the support thank you for watching